Hi everyone, Sweat Trainer Kayla Tinnis here and I am with Pop Sugar and today I am bringing you a full body express workout. Now this workout is fantastic because it is low impact, which means it's nice and soft on those joints. You can do it anytime, anywhere, no equipment and we're gonna get started straight away. So we're gonna move straight into the warm up. I'm just gonna set my timer. And we're standing at the end of our mat and we're gonna do a lunge and twist, starting in three, two, one. So we're lunging forward and then we're going to rotate towards our front leg. 30 seconds, just warming up our body. Take your time. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and we're on the ground and we're into a rocking chair, coming back into that high plank position, back into that rocking chair, high plank position. And what you're doing is you're really opening up your chest, then coming back into that high plank. Good, breathing. Five seconds, four, three, two, one and back up. We're just going to repeat the start. So we're going to lunge and twist. Lunge down and twist. Fifteen seconds. Take some nice deep breaths. Five seconds. Four, three, two. One, and back into that rocking chair. It's good. Five seconds, four, three, Two, one, good. Okay, so now that we're warmed up, we're gonna get straight into the workout. Now the workout is gonna start with a kneel to squat. So grab a drink. Okay, we are starting in five, get down the ground, four, three, two, one, let's go. So we're gonna go up, up, standing up, squat down, and back down to kneeling. So this is a great alternative to step ups if you don't have a chair or a bench. Each time you come up, try to alternate which leg you come up with. 10 seconds, we're gonna move into a glute bridge next. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, down the ground and we're going into a glute bridge where we're going to come up and squeeze Lower back down slowly. Keep those knees at an even distance apart. Don't let them drop in. Up, squeeze. You can hold it for a few seconds and then release down slowly. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one. And we're going into a plank now. And in this plank, we're going to lift, lift, and we're going into a plank now. And in this plank, we're just going to lift our leg. Alternate. It doesn't have to be high, just straight off the ground and back down. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and quick transition into a side plank. Now, if you want to make this a little bit harder, you can go into a hip lift so you can drop down and pick back up. If you want to make it easier, you can have your body like so onto your knees. Take some nice deep breaths. We're going to swap sides in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and we're swapping sides. So again, making it harder or making it easier.
15 seconds to go. Nice deep breath. Keep those hips up. Now we're gonna move into ab bikes. Five seconds, four, three, two, one into ab bikes. So we're rotating at our torso and touching our knee and our opposite elbow together. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. If you find this quite difficult, have your feet on the ground and you can just lift up like so. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six. We're going into a reverse lunge in five, four, three, two, one. Standing at the top of your mat and we're going reverse lunge backwards. Alternating legs each time. Keep that back nice and straight, that chest up. 15 seconds, we're going to a modified burpee, which means we're gonna step it out. For anyone feeling more advanced, you can do a regular burpee. Four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna step it out, step it back in, stand up, and then on our tippy toes. Step it out, step back in, stand up. So this is a modified burpee, and this is a great one for anyone who doesn't enjoy jumping in and out and up. You can modify the exercises to suit you. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one. And we're doing a oblique crunch, which is standing. So going opposite knee to elbow for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna rest for 30 seconds and do another two laps. Crunch. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and rest for 30 seconds. Grab a drink. And we're getting straight back into that kneel to squat. Some nice deep breaths. Got 10 seconds, you're gonna go down the ground. Time for round two, starting in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. And down, down. Alternating each time we come up. That's good, push it out. 20 seconds to go. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Down the ground into a glute bridge. So up and squeeze. Good. You can hold for a few seconds, release down slowly, come up, squeeze. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and over into that plank and leg lift. Remember, not too far off the ground. Keep that core on nice and strong. Push away from the floor. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and over into the side plank. Now remember what we spoke about in the first lap. You can drop your hip down, or you can go onto your knees. Whichever one feels more comfortable for you. Modify the workout to suit you. 15 seconds, I'm gonna change sides. Keep that core on nice and strong. Make sure that your elbow and your shoulder is in line. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and change sides. Ten. 
That's good, everyone. Nice deep breaths. 15 seconds. We're going to go into ab bikes in 10 seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and straight into ab bike. So rotate at your torso, touch that opposite elbow to knee. Now you're not doing little cycles here, you're doing long cycles. Push your feet away and rotate. Push away and rotate as close to the floor as possible. The higher you go, the easier it becomes. Five seconds, four, we're getting up. Three, two, one, standing on top of your mat and we're lunging backwards. Alternating lunge. If you are close to a chair or a wall, you can hold that to make sure that you're nice and stable. When you are stepping back, don't stop just because I've stopped. Make sure you are shoulder width apart when you're stepping back, okay? 10 seconds. When I say that, I mean not one foot directly behind the other, shoulder width apart when you step back. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, into that modified burpee. Up into your tippy toes, down to the ground, step it in, step it out, up into your tippy toes. When you're doing this, you don't wanna stare down at your feet. You wanna look up in between your hands or just above. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Standing oblique crunch, straight into it. So don't just bring your knee up and move your elbow, actually crunch in each time. This is a great alternative for ab bikes, anyone who doesn't wanna get down on the ground. 10 seconds and you get to rest. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and rest. We've got one more round. Grab a drink. 30 seconds rest. Last lap. Let's do this. 10 seconds and we'll start. Down the ground. Seven, six. We're starting in five seconds. Really push it out if you can. Three, two, one. Up, up, standing up. Good. Alternating which foot goes up first. So if you go right foot first, next time you go down, your left foot up first. Ten seconds. Make sure you're breathing. Moving into that glute bridge. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Quick transition. Three, two, one. Quick transition straight onto the ground. Good. Nice deep breaths, big squeeze at the top, hold for a few seconds if you need. When you're holding at the top, that allows you time to give yourself a really good squeeze and then release back down slowly. Four, three, two, one, over into plank and leg lift. So down to plank, make sure that core is on nice and strong, make sure your elbow is in line with your shoulder and then you're lifting your leg up slightly off the floor, not too high, you're not swinging it up, just, just off the floor. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, into a side plank. Do a hip lift if you want to, drop down to your knees if you need to. Fifteen seconds. Keep it up nice and strong. Keep it up nice and strong. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
One, swapping sides. Nice deep breaths while you're here. Concentrate. We're moving into ab bikes next. 15 seconds. Don't drop down. If you need to, you can drop down to your knees, but don't drop down completely. Eight, seven, six, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And into those ab bikes. Now, if you can go faster right now, if you feel like you've got a little bit more energy, then let's go. Push it out, push it out as fast as you can go. If you need to slow it down, then slow it down. But the slower you go with our bikes, actually the harder they are. So maintain that pace, keep going. You've got 10 seconds. Modify if you need, you can put your feet down on the ground. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. And we're up into those reverse lunges. Quick transition. If you need, you can hold a wall, you can hold a chair. Whoop, lost balance. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Modified burpee. Keep going. 15 seconds. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Last one. Crunch, 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 and you're done. You can rest after this, guys. 20. 19, keep going. Crunch. Five seconds, let's go, last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. You can rest and cool down with me now. All right, so let's get down to the ground. That's where I like to be. Oh, when I finish a workout, hamstring stretch. Touch your foot, bring your toes towards you. If you can, with a straight back, lower yourself down to your knee. For me right now, I'm not feeling that flexible, so I'm just gonna stay right where I am and keep pulling that foot in towards you. Take some nice deep breaths. If you can, if you've got time today, just stay here for a little bit longer. I'm gonna swap sides now. But I do encourage people to hold their stretches, repeat their stretches. It's just good so you're not sore the next day, we're not as sore. You know, it prevents injury. If you've got time tonight, you can have a nice bath. And we're gonna go into child's pose now which is everyone's favorite stretch. Knees nice and wide, and we're just gonna stretch back, opening up our hips, stretching out our chest and lower back. You can move from side to side if you want. Take some nice deep breaths. And let's just go back into those hamstring stretches one more time. Go a little bit further this time, other side. And then just one more child's pose because it's great. Stretch out everything, move side to side. Nice deep breath and we'll be done. And we are done. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed that workout. If you love workouts like these, then don't forget to check out my BBG program in the sweat app. I'll see you next time. Bye.